Hey everyone, I am back with another Unity tutorial. Okay, that's better. So in this video, I will tell you a different approach to rig 2D characters you may be familiar with to the pawn rigging or skeletal animation, whatever you prefer. But let me show you how to do it using Unity Mechanism. But why would you do it with Mechanism? Um, because we can and it's different and fast I guess. Anyways, keeping excuses aside, let's jump straight into it. So first of all, you need to export parts of your character separately. I'm gonna use this robot which I made in my previous video. Now after exporting, create a new empty game object which is a holder for the character and inside that choose a part which controls all of the other body parts, generally it's torso. Now how are we gonna rig our character you may ask. Well we'll create an empty object inside which will be graphic of that game object and we'll position that empty object remember not the graphic one empty object will position that on the joint of two parts of bones so that we can rotate around that point that's how most of the character rigging works it's just rotation around joint also we can position it accordingly so to better understand let me show you how to set up in the torso which is our parent object create holder for the body part and position it on the joint with torso and inside the holder put the sprite as you can see it's rotating around holder position which is basically the result we want now in the case of head we want it to rotate with the body so to solve this we'll make head holder child of the body part and position it on the joint of head and body and then put head graphic inside head obj Do this for another parts also, such as arm should be child of the body object but not leg. Also layer them in correct sorting order. Ok, so I have made lower arm child of upper arm and hand child of lower arm. Also, I have made like child of torso because we don't want it to move with body. Then I made lower leg child of upper and palm child of lower leg. So that's cover our setup for the rig. Now to the animation part. Remember to only make changes to holder objects, otherwise it could make problems. Now, to animate, add keyframes of the holder part. As an example, I would animate a walk cycle. Here are the poses I made with the respective frame position. So press the red and let's do it.
Okay, I've done adding keyframes and let's see how it looks and it looks pretty decent. So yeah, that's how you rig your character with Mechanim. So it could be really useful when for example, in my game Star Balls, I wanted to create a stickman rig and doesn't want it to be super realistic or physics based. So I created a similar rig with Mechanim very quickly. And so I think it could be really helpful to others. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Should I stay or should I go?